United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Moon Shores. These are your daily announcements for Thursday, December 19, 2013. I'm Miranda. And I'm Dugan. Friday at 12.30 p.m. to 1.10 p.m., the Career Tech Center Presentation, Opportunities Program, Outlines, and Scheduling for the Junior and Senior Year will be held in the high school auditorium. Any interested 10th grade student who is even considering one of the many opportunities CTC has to offer should come listen to the possibilities. Talk to your 4th hour teacher today. Any boys who took first trimester PE classes and had left clothes or shoes in a locker have until Friday, December 20th to claim them or the items will be disposed of. Contact Mr. Baker to retrieve any items. Attention students, in an effort to ensure that Mona Shores High School is a drug, tobacco, and alcohol-free campus, there will be a visit from the Muskegon County Sheriff Department, the K-9 unit, sometime in December. Please report any suspicious behaviors to the front office in order to maintain an orderly learning environment. The Spanish Club will hold its Fiesta de la Navidad on Viernes, January 3rd at 11.30 at El Burrito. Come prepared to speak about holiday traditions in Spanish. We will also order our lunch in Spanish. Miss Ashby will help you with anything, but your waiter will not speak English. Fun, amigos, and Mexican food. See Mrs. Ashby for details. If you want to go to Cleveland with the art department or the broadcast speech, see Mr. Drati, Mrs. Benson Fennell, or Miss Holinga. Your money is due tomorrow. Did you know Moa Shores Choir is famous? We were on the Travel Channel this past Sunday in a show called Jingle Brawls. That's right. Well, we were put against a tree made of lobster traps for the best extreme Christmas tree in the country, and we thought we won by a landslide, but it turns out voting continues through the month as the show is being re-aired. You can vote every day from as many devices as you can get your hands on every day. You can search Jingle Brawls on the Travel Channel website, save lobsters, and vote for trees. Sailor Pride. Tonight in the Sailor Center, we have a celebration of girls basketball all over the, the west side of the state here. We have six varsity girls basketball games happening. Uh, there'll be one at 4, there'll be one, one at 5.45, and one at 7 o'clock. One of Shores Girls Varsity plays against Spring Lake tonight at 7.30. And we'd love to see the student, student section fill up and, and get everybody ready to um, support our Sailors. We have a tradition, we've only lost one game in this tournament in this past several years of its history and we hope to continue to uh, play well. Um, Friday night we play at 545 against Ludington and we would love to see you there. There are also six JV teams and six freshman teams that are scattered in the um, auxiliary and the Hanishin gyms throughout the days and they will also be in action at that time. So there will be 18 girls basketball teams playing in the Sailor Center Hanishin and Ox gym. So come out and support your Sailors. Go Blue! This is Sailor Country and we do everything with pride. I'm Franklin. Girls interested in track and field will be signing up after school in room 306 today. We will begin training after the holiday break and attending some indoor track meets together. The boys varsity basketball team defeated Fremont on Tuesday by a score of 66 to 53. The Sailors were led by Marcus Tublin, Kobe Burst, and Logan Hall. With 12 points, Adrian Billups and Cam Matthews added 10 points. Last night, they defeated Spring Lake by a score of 62-48 to 48 to improve their record to 4-0 for the season. They were, the Sailors were led by Marcus Sumlin with 25 points and 9 rebounds, Adrian Billups with 12 points, Logan Hall with 7 points and 8 rebounds, Hunter, Hunter Borgman and 5 rebounds, Cameron Matthews with 6 assists, and Jamarius Williams with 3 assists and 4 rebounds. The next game for the Sailors will be on January 3rd at home against Grand Haven. Last night, the varsity hockey team lost to Rockford in an OK Conference League game 3-2 at Griff's Ice House. The team played a solid first period going up 1-0 with a goal by Colin Robach with assists from going to Alex Sturr and Kevin Quigg. The end of the second found Rockford up 2-1 after the Sailors took too many penalties. Rockford went up 3-1 before Dalton Lair scored on a power play goal with assists going to Sawyer, Jensen, and C.J. Myers, but were not able to get the equalizer. 
The team's next home game is this Saturday at 2 p.m. when Big Rapids come to Lakeshore Sports Center. Come out and support your sailors. Last weekend, Mona Shores hosted the annual Don Mosey JV Wrestling Invitational, placing first for the sailors were David Peters, Devon Barton, Aaron Rokowski, Alec Vinay, and Blake Kramer. Taking second place were Ian Noyes, John Burnett, Andrew Crominga, Max Olmstead, and Logan Rector. The earning third place were William Wu, Cody Grappa, Michael Dinsmore, and Jake Greville. Thanks for a great effort, guys. Today in sports, the girls basketball team hosts the Muskegon Sports Hall of Fame tournament and the swim team travels to Wayland Union. Today's weather is a high of 36 till 30. <laughs> That's all we have for you today, sailors. They believe in dreams and all they mean, including heaven's generosity. Peeping round the door to see what parcels offer free and curious.